Hello, this is Ian Williams with KBKG. The Employee Retention Tax Credit was put in place as part of the CARES Act to incentivize employers to keep people on payroll uh, during the struggling times of 2020. Um, it's been extended now through the end of 2021. And most importantly, it's available for companies who claimed PPP during 2020 or 2021 as well. Uh, so it is a pretty lucrative credit and, and there's a few considerations you need to think about when determining whether or not you qualify for this credit because not everyone qualifies, but uh, a lot of companies do. So the first item you need to consider is the ownership of your company. So if it's one single owner that owns 100%, then that's not going to be an issue for you. Uh, but in the case where it's multiple owners, uh, we need to look at the majority ownership of your company and whether they own any other companies or they're the majority owners in other companies um, or if there's a management group involved. In any of those cases, you might have to group up multiple companies for the purposes of establishing eligibility um, for the following criteria that I'm going to walk you through. So the first item is going to be the headcount of your company as of 2019. So if you have less than 100 full-time average employees in 2019, then you're going to qualify for both years. And if you have less than 500 average full-time employees in 2019, then you could qualify for 2021. The way that you actually calculate that is done on a monthly basis in 2019. So you're going to look at the total number of employees that are charging more than 130 hours in a month for each month in 2019, add that number up and divide it by 12, so that calculation is done a little bit different than your full-time equivalent um, calculation that you might have done for PPP. So just keep that in mind. But as long as you're under 100, you could be eligible for both years. Um, as long as you meet one of the following two tests that I'm gonna kind of cover here. So the first is gonna be a gross receipts test. And what we're looking for there is a reduction in gross receipts from a 2019 quarter to the same quarter in 2020 or 2021. And for the 2020 credit, that's going to need to be a more than 50% reduction in gross receipts compared to the 2019 quarter. And for 2021, it needs to be a greater than 20% reduction in gross receipts compared to the same quarter in 2019. Uh, the one key rule here that gets missed a lot is that for Q1 2021 eligibility, you can actually qualify for that if your Q4 of 2020 was more than a 20% reduction compared to Q4 of 2019. So that's something that a lot of companies you know, may have missed and that they can go look at right now because those numbers are available. Um, even if you didn't have that 20% reduction uh, in 2021 Q1, if you had it in Q4, then you can still qualify there. So definitely something to look into because that Q1 and, and all of the quarters in 2021 are really lucrative credits. So this is an either or test. So if you don't meet that gross receipts reduction test, the next step is to look at whether or not you had a government shutdown that qualifies you. And the key here is that it has to be an actual government order that's either fully or partially shutting down your business. It can't be CDC guidance that you're following um, or any other guidance that you're following. It has to be an actual order from the government. Now there's kind of easy examples here where the government said your business has to be closed. That would be an obvious uh, way to meet the rule, but oftentimes it's a partial shutdown. So a government order might have limited occupancy in your business, or they might have limited the number of shifts that you can run. They might have required cleaning between shifts. They might require your employees on premises to be separated by six feet or more, and that might limit the amount of volume that you can get out as a result. So any of those examples could potentially meet uh, the rules for that partial shutdown. And if they do, that can pull in all of your payroll during that shutdown period. So that's something definitely to consider. Um, if you do meet that gross receipts test that I just covered, that qualifies you for an entire quarter and oftentimes multiple quarters. So that one can ob obviously be easier to meet and more encompassing from a timeline perspective as well. So definitely a few things to consider. Um, if you do have any questions on your eligibility, I would encourage you to go to our website, kvkg.com. We've got a number of resources there as well as webinars that you can follow. Um, but look forward to, uh, to helping everyone claim these credits if, if you meet these eligibility requirements. Thanks. Bye.